friend of the show, and we say that because all you have to do is make multiple appearances, and boom, you're in the club. David Venable, QVC, North Carolina native with us. All these uh, things you have in your, your storied uh, broadcasting career, and friend of the show status is one of them now. That's great. Well, thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be with you this morning. I'm looking forward to coming home to Chapel Hill. This is great. Now, I remember when we talked back around Christmas, you said you were coming home. You were going to bring a, a show. You're, you're, you're wildly popular in the kitchen with David show that, that's Wednesdays and Sundays. You were going to bring one of those shows here to the Triangle. And you're doing so on Wednesday in, in Chapel Hill, Wallace Plaza, uh, Rosemary Street, I believe it is, near there. Uh, in the kitchen with David Venable, live broadcast around the world from <laughs> well, Chapel at least Hill. around the country. Well, yeah, at least around the country. But this is exciting. This is fabulous. Why? Why did you want to bring the show back to to kind of a, a place that, that means so much to you in North Carolina, and, and you went to school there and all of that? Well, it was really serendipitous the way it all came together. I uh, had a theme on my show this summer of great food in college towns, and we were celebrating uh, wonderful food, local food from. Uh, local independent restaurants in college communities all over the country. We had asked our viewers or the folks I like to call foodies to uh, send in recommendations for various restaurants around their, their area if they lived in or adjacent to a college town that were really legendary in those areas that were so much a part of students' experiences as well as the local townspeople. And we got some really marvelous entries from university communities all over the country. So to bring that whole tour full circle, we wanted to bring the show back to my alma mater, and celebrate some of the great food in my area and introduce our viewers uh, to a little bit of my history and uh, to a little bit of, uh, of what helped shape uh, my love of food and, and also my love of Southern cooking because there's so much of that in Chapel Hill. But, you know, I think uh, these days Chapel Hill is not just a home of Southern cooking. It's a home of really eclectic, wonderful local food. And so uh, it just really was a great fit and a win-win for us to be able to bring the show back to my alma mater, but also really celebrate that whole idea of wonderful food in college towns that make those towns legendary. Everybody's invited. Uh, bring a lawn chair, bring a blanket. Uh, you, you can go. There's plenty of room there to uh, enjoy this on Wednesday night. What time should people probably get there, David, before on Wednesday? Well, you know, the show begins at 8, and I feel very confident that folks will begin lining up around 7. Okay. Uh, there is plenty of parking in and around that area. In fact, Wallace Plaza is on top of a parking garage, so I'm sure that that area, that garage will probably fill up first, and then uh, there's adjacent parking all around. The good news is the students aren't back in school yet, and not all of them back in town, so I would imagine parking won't be quite the premium that it typically is. Yeah, yeah. So that'll be uh, taking place Wednesday night. Uh, David Correct. Venable, uh, the resident foodie uh, at QVC, you know him for the happy dance, uh, and he's joining <laughs> us uh, here. Uh, he's, he's a YouTube sensation, too, with the soup and all. We talked about that last time. Uh, let me just say this before we, we move on, because there's, there's some real important things about this thing on uh, Wednesday I want to I address. Sure. But uh, the lovely Jill who you were so kind enough to send an autographed photo to back around the holidays, which was just wonderfully sweet of you. Uh, she, you need to cancel these Christmas and July things, because I think we're broke again. She <laughs> And you're too good at what you do, because, my gosh, I, I, last night, she, she snuck a couple in on me late last night, by the way. Well, I'm sure that there are going to be plenty of boxes <laughs> arriving at your house in the next few days at QVC on the label. <laughs> you need to give me some warning. <laughs> I'll plan a trip where we go to the mountains or something, and we'll just, you know, we'll be outside the whole time, and we won't be watching TV at night or something. I, well, you know, Christmas in July for QVC now is a month-long event. In the month of July, you may have to take a whole month vacation. <laughs> David Venable with us. What's really cool about this Wednesday, not only is it going to be live from Chapel Hill, and we're going to uh, be, uh, you know, ho having the uh, In the Kitchen with David show right here from the Triangle, but your mom's coming to town, and she's going to be on the show, right? She is, and thank you for mentioning that. Uh, my mom lives in the Charlotte area and uh, has appeared on my show uh, various times over the last uh, many years, And but it's been a few years since she's been on the program, and our foodies who watch our show regularly are very anxious to see her again. She, she has become quite the darling of our show because she is, I talk about her so much, and they feel like they know her. So um, it's a great opportunity for her to come up and spend a little time, and Mom's in her retirement now and thankfully still in very good health, and mm. we feel very blessed by that, my brother and sister and I. So we will uh, be welcoming her to Chapel Hill on Wednesday, and she'll uh, have a chance to appear on the show with me and have a little chance to have some fun with us, which I think will be really great for us, um, our crew, and, and then also our, our foodies who watch the show. Is Mary going to be there? 
Absolutely, she'll be there, uh, front and center. So we're excited about that. Mary is uh, is such an integral part of our show and, and such a, a big part of our social media efforts in terms of really engaging our foodies during the show and having an opportunity for them to chat amongst themselves as they're watching what's happening live on the show. But I think what I'm most excited about is really having our local fo- uh, fans and, and friends in and around the Triangle area to come out to see how our live broadcast comes together. We're live every day when we're in the studio, but yeah. when we're live on remote location, you really get to see us, I think, at our best. Our crew um, will be working very feverishly throughout that entire time period and, and, and in the days leading up to it to make sure that the set area is set up. We've got big jumble monitors that we'll be putting up so the crowd will be able to see what's happening very very uh, easily. And it will just, I think, be exciting to watch a live television broadcast right in, uh, in an area that has always been so incredibly special to me. I've done the, the you know the basketball and the football uh, uh, you know games live from stadiums and all that on TV and that, I mean that's that's certainly a production nothing at the level of, of what you're talking about but I can only imagine the volume of people that really have to work uh, you know kind of long hours and it's a labor of love I and mean, you know we're not we're not trying to paint it here as, as something torrid but I mean it, it's a it's a real labor of love but they work so hard behind the scenes when you go out on remote. My gosh, you don't know what's going to happen. You've got to be prepared for everything. It's like the Boy Scouts. It's amazing. It's very true. I mean, our trucks will come rolling into town a few days in advance. So if you're in and around the Chapel Hill area, you'll see big, massive uh, semi-tractor trailer trucks with our QVC logos all over the side. <laughs> uh, QVC will definitely have arrived in town. There will be no secret there, that's for sure. Um, and there are, um, there are literally um, over 100 people that are, that are involved with just the crew itself. Uh, wow. Just making sure that everything is is in place, and uh, we've had advanced teams that have gone out uh, in uh, the weeks that have preceded the broadcast to meet with uh, local officials in Chapel Hill, securing permits. You know, uh, really making sure that we are finding the place that will be the most conducive to our broadcast, but also the least disruptive to the town. Yeah, and so we uh, we really want try to be very sensitive to that, particularly when we're, when we're in a smaller, tighter area like we will be on Wednesday. Friend of the show, David Venable, QVC. Not only will we be doing his uh, In the Kitchen with David broadcast uh, beginning at 8 o'clock Wednesday night uh, from Wallace Plaza in Chapel Hill, but he's got a book signing for his cookbook, Back Around the Table. I think we talked about that last time you were on. That's at Tuesday night at 6 o'clock. It is uh, at uh, the Root Cellar beside Flyleaf Books in Chapel Hill. There will also be samples of the food from that cookbook, so you can do that. And then... uh, the, the bookstore is letting people bring their own copy of the cookbook if they already have one, right, to, to sign That is the, correct. Yeah, yeah. That is correct. Now, books will be available for yeah. purchase at Flyleaf, but if anybody already has their book but has not had a chance to have it signed, please bring it out. I would love to meet you. I would love to sign your book. And the, uh, the root seller has been very generous in allowing everyone who already owns a book to bring that out with them. We'll also be serving some food samples from – the, uh, from the cookbook as well. So folks will get a, a true taste of In the Kitchen with David uh, when they come out for the uh, book signing. We'll have a chance to take photos together and post them on social media. It'll be a lot of fun on Tuesday night. If I bring a Smithfield ham, will you sign it for me? Well, as best I can, but I'd <laughs> rather eat it with you. So <laughs> maybe I'll bring some biscuits and we'll make ham biscuits. Well, this, this is what leads me to a question, because I've been watching a lot of QVC, as I documented earlier, with, with Jill, uh, you know, just buying up the place the last month. But where, what with all that great food, what happens to it after it's there on display? What, what does the crew get to eat it? How does that work? It's an excellent question and one that we get a lot. Um, absolutely, our crew never eats better than they do on show day. <laughs> um, we've got a, a massive crew that works in our studio, not just on the on the studio floor, but our control room staff and our um, our talent service center that that works in checking in all the guests. And I mean, there are just there are easily over a hundred people in and around the studio area every show. So those folks uh, eat very well. Our food stylists who prepare all the food many times take some home to their families because a lot of that food uh, is not food that we can store. We simply don't have the uh, room for it yeah. in our area. Mm-hmm. A, lot of, a lot of people question and wonder, why don't you just donate it to local food banks? And we donate some of it, but not all of it is, um, is donatable. Yeah. And what I mean yeah. by that is uh, some of that food was prepared to look pretty on television and it's been sitting under television lights for, for two and three hours. Yeah. So it's probably not safe to donate. Um, and some of our local food banks began to get overwhelmed with the amount of food we were delivering to them. <laughs> they simply didn't have the storage uh, uh, space for it. So they take what they can, yeah. and then we are able to distribute among our employees um, the other portions of it, and then some of it sadly has to be thrown away simply because it's not safe for consumption. But um, 
But we also try to recycle as much food as possible, meaning if we know that there's going to be a similar item on again and mm-hmm. we've used a, a food demo, we'll try to either freeze it or refrigerate it if we know we're going to use it again within right. the next couple of days. So we try to recycle as much as we can. Yeah. Well, heck, they get to eat it. Uh, everybody does. That's great. So, and it's, it's wonderful what you guys do with the food bank up there. That's just really uh, tremendous. Oh, David, this has been great. Thank you for, for doing uh, this again. And, uh, of course, anytime you want to come on, uh, you, you're more than welcome to. David Venable. Uh, he'll be uh, at uh, the Root Cellar beside Flyleaf Books on Tuesday night, 6 o'clock, signing his cookbook, Back Around the Table. Uh, they have books for sale there. If you already have a copy of that cookbook, they're going to let you bring it out, let David sign it. Food samples that night as well. And then the big uh, In the Kitchen with David broadcast coming up on QVC around the nation. I say around the world. David just says around the nation. It sounds bigger around the world. Wallace Plaza, uh, Chapel Hill. Uh, and this is uh, Rose- near Rosemary in Chapel Hill. Wednesday night, uh, David will be there. 8 o'clock, uh, maybe get there an hour and a half, an hour before to make sure you get parking in a good seat and that sort of thing. And uh, it should be a lot of fun. David, that's great. Uh, you're bringing a, a show back to North Carolina, too. That'll be a little little boost for the economy, too, in the summertime here. You mentioned the students gone. That's always good to have folks in town and that sort of thing uh, uh, in these college towns when uh, when all the kids are out. Maybe the restaurants will get a little boost from it as well. So. Oh, trust me. Our In the Kitchen with David crew loves to eat, just like <laughs> I do. So we're going to fill up every restaurant in town. What's your favorite thing you're eating right now? Uh, what, for summertime? Yeah, just whatever. What's the What's your go-to meal right now? You know what? I'm enjoying all the beautiful summer fruits and vegetables. I mean, uh, making, uh, you know, a beautiful fresh green salads. I mean, the summer corn is starting to come in. Mm-hmm. Peaches will be in season soon. I, I was just saying last week that once peaches really come in, big, sweet, plump, juicy, and ripe, I'm going to start making cobblers and freezing them oh. uh, just so I can enjoy them into the fall and, and hopefully into the winter if they last that long. I'm a big fan of eating seasonally and, and, and wonderful fresh fruits and vegetables. So I'm at the farmer's market every week enjoying all the bounty that's coming in right now. Great stuff. David, thank you so much. Oh, it's great to chat with you again, and thanks so much for all your support. We hope to see everyone out on Wednesday night.